All right, so let's go on ahead. Do more challenges. Dude, do you know a way to get past these friggin' cops? They won't let me in the parking garage. I know who you are. You do? Yes, you are the poster boy for corporate America, the everyman for a generation of slaves with white collars. You're not talking about Justin Bieber, are you? Advertising you chasing the American dream. Think for yourself. Don't let the television think for you. Man, what are you talking about? The first step of the skate club initiation is to denounce the corporate infidels that plague your mind. Uh, okay, I hereby denounce the plague of infidels. What's the second step? Tricking all these objects before my stopwatch hits zero. If you can do that, I'll take you to the third step. Okay, so apparently we have uh, Alex Jones supporter here. I'm animated. I'm alive. My heart's big. It's got hot blood going through it fast. This is a human. This is what we look like. This is what we act like. <laughs> With all the corporate America, probably believes in the Illuminati and all that other idiotic stuff. Anyway, uh, that just grind on the object. Okay, what was there? One more? Oh, that was it. Cool. All right, now take me to the dang parking garage. Dang it. Oh no, wait, we all need to do that challenge. That challenge is stupid. The skate club has a few basic rules you must follow. First rule is that you cannot mention our existence. Like the Illuminati. Uh, what did you do with my clothes? I'm just sure now. Two, no shirt, no shoes. Oh, that is so weak, man. I was just starting to break those shoes in. Material possessions are an extension of corporate mind control. The third step of the skate club initiation is to master the art of flatland. While in a manual, do the flatland tricks I call it. I was trying to do this in the Am Jam and I was wondering why I couldn't do it, so. Now we are able to do it. Boom. We basically gotta do all the tricks before they pop up and all that wonderful stuff. Well, at least we have these tricks, which is really cool. Uh, ooh, spacewalk. Woo, that's sexy. Pause. Hey, man, do you know how to get past those cops? The demolition committee of Project Wasteland has rigged the perfect distraction. What's Project Wasteland? A skate club operation that targets large-scale corporations in the area. We're going after this high-dollar hotel. Follow us! Okay, whatever you say. Just... Please don't drug me or anything like that. Don't pull Bill Cosby on me. Oh wait, let me get up there. And uh, don't just go up the dang rooftop. There it is. Standing on the rooftop. Here's the plan. We've rigged these beams to fall when they get lipped on. What are you waiting for? Time is running out. Okay, lift the lower beam for about a good majority of seconds. Land it. Cool. Nice job. Now hit the middle beam and Project Wasteland will begin. Let me get some air first. Backflip. The second beam. Oh, jeez. Again, I can't go in friggin', <laughs> friggin' focus mode. All right. Let me try that again. No! D don't grind on it. Pause. The... <laughs> Come on, just let me do a proper lip trick. It's all the dang pressure that just... Eh, okay, we're good. I thought he was about to... What the hell? It didn't break. That was just a test. To bring this down, lift the beam again. It's too... It's freaking Day's mission all over again with the Jorge guy or Jose or whatever his name was. Not trying to be offensive to anyone. I'm just saying it's hard to... Freaking know someone's name, but anyway, uh, come on, get up there, dude. Oh, the second red beam, okay. All right. Cool. And once again, that somehow breaks down an entire hotel. What if there were people in there? Like, those people are probably dead right now. That'd be the worst type of death ever. I died because a skateboarder lipped on the rails. I know that sounds physically impossible, but you know what? This is America, dang it. Anything is possible nowadays. Alright, let's just head on down the garage and 
See why the hell. Well, you made it want. this far. Yeah. What other easy challenges you got for me? All right, Mr. Hotshot. We've got a challenge for you. Let's see if you can beat the Skate Club's best Flatlanders. First up, Ralph. See if you can outscore him using just Flatland. Okay. Boom. So you basically have to do better tricks overall and beat this guy. So that way, you win. <laughs> Impressive. That guy was a punk. See the best you got? You think I'd waste our best guy on you? Get a grip. Next up is Josh. He's a more seasoned challenger. Alright. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Alright. Just forget I ever did that. Just. Let me do some more tricks. Ooh. Well, my guy's getting fancy with it. Alright. It's almost like a breakdance battle in a way. Come on. Ah, I'm just so scared of bailing. That's the problem. All right. Just gonna do a couple more tricks and... Oh, God. Did I win? Nice. Maybe I've underestimated you. It's time for you to face the man himself. Oh, hell no. They want Song? He is the man. I wish these skate club guys would stop begging me to do their dirty work for them. This is the last time. I'm sick of being trotted out like some damn show pony each time one of you lose a flatland battle. Just do it. Crush this guy and stand beside us one last time. Hey kid, I'm gonna let you win. Just try to make it look competitive. Okay, uh, oh geez, 40 seconds? This is like the last battle from 8 Mile where they each got a minute and a half to spit bars at each other. Should not have let me gone first, Awan. Uh oh. He's getting closer. No! Do not bail on me. Ah! Hey! God dang! Please tell me I won. I won! Oh yeah! Hey, locals only, chump. Get off my back. I'm just here to see Alva. Wait a minute. Are you the skater putting together the skate ranch with Iggy? Yeah? Why? I heard about you. Look, it's hard to see Tony. You have to impress his posse first. Then they might let you see him. Huh, oh, great. You'll do fine. Be on the lookout for cool skate ranch pieces, too. They're all around Santa Monica. See ya. Okay. Well, that's just wonderful. All right. Uh, Joey B again? Hey, tough guy. You just want to help me out and I'll help you out? I got this freaking idiot boss. I'm telling you, the guy just graduated from jerk school. He wants me to demo these stairs here on my lunch break. So here's the deal. You knock down these stairs here, and I'll get him to that skate ranch right on the company dime. Yeah, I'm down for it. Here's what you do. The salt air's done most of the work, rusting out them bolts and such. You just- And try doing an impossible- Uh, okay, so I basically got a, uh, boneless and then impossible, okay. I think I might remember this. This is freaking hard. And then just jump all the way down, impossible. There you go. Yeah, that got him started, but keep at it. Started. Try doing it three more times. Oh, for God's sake, dude. Yeah, I remember this challenge being really dang hard. So my key is just to bone dolly and then impossible. Get some uh, good air as well. There you go. That thing's swaying more than me after happy hour at the Donkey Punch Brew House. Okay, now try one last big one. Oh, for God's sake, a 360 impossible. Oh, uh, you're just not making this easy for me. Bone Dolly. Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to try this again. Six and a half hours later. Got it somehow. Didn't even make it totally down the stairs, but. Crap. Look at you. You're like a skating god. Yeah, I figured it would have taken you at least eight or three more times, but you did it. I'll get my boys to back up the truck and take this to the skate ranch. After my lunch, you freaking jerk. Way to call me a freaking jerk at the end of all that. So anyway, um, the heck's this guy doing? He's doing break dances. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Look at the moves. All right, let me give this a shot. Woo! Going on Michael Jackson on these people. Hey 
there. Hey, you following me? Maybe, maybe not. Or maybe I'm just scoping out new stuff we can get for the skate ramp. See anything you like? Yeah, I see something. That shark head over there. Oh, that, yeah, oh yeah, no, I, I saw that too. That'd be righteous if we could finagle that thing. Yeah, it would. You should use that kicker next to me to acid drop on top of the head to get it loose. Well, look at you all busting out the skater lingo. Don't forget who styled you out with half the tricks you know. Now get your cocky butt up there. My guy is cocky, I mean, I'm just saying, but... Uh, acid drop... Mindy is playing hard to get. It's not the only thing my guy wanted. The... The girl Mindy, um... Reminds me so much of, uh... People, waiters that look like that at the Tilted Kill, they have like some more outfits. Uh, oh, we got stall three times. Okay, well, that's cool. Um, uh, why don't I just do this? Why don't I just. No, wait, I don't want to retry the mission. No, dear God, no. Uh, nope. Good. Stop going off the gauges. And stall. Can I just. Oh, I can't stall. I can't just jump back on and stall. Okay. Heck is this? Press circle. Oh, hey, you should finish your mission first. Okay, all right. Game doesn't want want to let me have fun. That's cool. Shark attack! <laughs> Good job. Now go look for some more stuff. I'll call Murphy and get him to hook me up with a truck to get this to the. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, this guy was a weirdo. Hey, man, see that sign? Bet there's corporate America saying. Hey, little people, come here so we can take all your cash. That sign represents the man sticking his claws in the wallets of Joe Everybody and sucking him dry. That sign's gotta come down, bro, so the man can see he ain't the man. You gotta launch up there using these kickers and get jamming on the tricks I holler your way, you know? Alright. Everyone has a thing against corporate America. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, jeez. We'll be all set, so... Go up. Oh, my God. Come on. Please, don't screw this up. Hey, there it is. Oh man, you're the man, man! Yeah, I will be once I get this sign back to the skate ranch. I'll check you later. Have a good trip. Where, where am I going, dude? Back to the 60s. Oh yeah, right. Thanks, man. Bon voyage! Get out of here. What do you want? Yeah, I'm trying to find Tony Alva. Oh yeah? Well, your face is about to find my foot, you skate poser. Hey man, I'm no poser. I can ride. That right? Then let's see you stick a lip trick on one of them Ferris wheel cars, ride it all the way around. Then hop off and land without biffing it. Or better yet, do biff it so I don't have to see your face around here anymore. I like the fact that they put the never soft eye there. Oh god. Almost there. And... Oh god. Ah, land it! Nice! Whatever. You're weak. Dude, meet me at the end of the pier. I got something that should wreck you royally. Ride this busted old line around the end of the pier and back to me. Don't worry. If you fall, you'll just land on a shark or some rocks or some rusted out spikes. This dude is trying to kill me. Oh god. Whoa! Whoa! Oh god! No! I was not prepared for that. We. Oh. Very nice. Dude, all luck, no skill. Come here, I got something else for you. Ah, man. These nasty birds are more of a pain in the butt than you are. They're taking giant dumps all over the place. I figure since you skate like crap, this is the perfect job for you. Ride that line and scare off all those flying duke droppers. Okay. It's a little similar. Jump on the line. This is similar to uh, the bird mission from Tony Hawk's Underground 2. So, oh god. And that's it. You waiting for an invitation to hit this line? Oh my god, dude. What is your deal? Like, come on. You need to get out more. More birds to knock out. Man, for someone who sucks, you're not that bad. Alva will probably think you're a complete tool, but I'll give a what up to him for you anyway. See yeah, you, you do that. Hey man, where do you think you're going? Yeah, Again, I want to talk to Tony Alva. Same guy. Yeah, and I want a diamond in my front tooth, but that ain't happening either. Come on, man. 
GTA. Don't just talk to anyone. You show me you can shred, then I'll see what I can do. Let's see if you can gap from this planner to that one without touching the ground. Jeez, um, I think I might remember this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start that again. Uh, holy crap, that's hard. Where do I jump? Oh, okay. There it is. Where's he going? What are, what are you doing? Without touching the ground around the theater. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, yeah. Dang it. Uh, how? I know there's another way to get up there, but can I just wall run up here? Alright, let me try that again. Oh, okay. There's a little ramp there, so. Nice. Not too bad. Nice work, kid. I don't know, though. I guess I might tell Alva about you. Oh, thanks. See you around then. Hey, kid, wait! Tell you what, you reach me without touching the ground, I will definitely talk to Alva about you. Oh my god, dude, come on! No, don't touch the... Okay, wait, no. Get there. Yes, I got there! Yeah! Oh man, I'ma call you Gnarly Charlie. I'll for sure put the word in with Alva for you. Hey, there's Tony Alva. Finally. Word on the street is you've been looking for me. My boys have been telling me you're not bad. You know all the latest tricks. But if you can really ride, you gotta be able to hit some old school moves too. That's how I roll. Let's start out by seeing if you can pogo down that ramp between those cones I set up. And don't knock into any of them, or else you gotta go back to the starting line, Chief. Okay. Pogo down the thing through the cones and land it. Easy. Sweet style, kid. You look like me there for a second. Now try it again, but this time do a handstand. Alright. Just gotta be careful. You just gotta hold the trick all the way down and perfect. Nice. My crew was right about you. You got some moves. And for the last one, let's try something different. See if you can do a bird slide down the entire ramp. But remember, don't hit the Alright, this one might be a little tricky, so... Yeah, it's bird slide... Ah! Fudge! Hit the cone. Alright, let me try that again. Then you say you just gotta get enough speed, and I don't really have that right now. Dang it. Oh god. Ah! Ah! God! No! Oh my god, I was right there. That's stupid. Mm, stupid cones. I'm gonna start to hate cones after this mission. Oh my goodness. Only me I can run into cones like that. I have a horrible sense of direction. Eh, eh. No, are you kidding? Uh, kind of like the eagles. We're just right there. We're just Wait. I wasn't even close. I wasn't even close to hitting that cone. That's just stupid. No, oh my, I didn't even hit the cone. And the guy freaking fell. Unbelievable. Ah. Oh, thank God. Damn, kid. Those are some raw moves. Thanks, man. Y you know, I'm actually here to see you about one of your old friends. Iggy Van Zant. Iggy Van Zant? Holy crap. What's that train wreck up to? Well, let me guess. Dead or in jail? Good call. He got locked up just the other day. Well, that's gotta be a record. That guy's a rock star, man. Check this out. Just the other day, I found this old photo of us together. Man, we used to shred this city apart. Del Mar, Carlsbad. That's us at Green Pipes Point. Green Pipes Point? Never heard of that. Is that one still around? No, nah, it got leveled years ago. Too bad, though, because there's a lot of history at that place. The gnarliest snake run ever. Word is that thing got filled in, but never destroyed. Hey, I've seen that before. That's Iggy's place. Damn. If that's Iggy's place, then Iggy's place is Green Pipe's Point. I figured it would have been a strip mall by now. That means the snake run's probably still there. Oh, that thing's gotta be dug up. Definitely. I know this trippy dude named Mega who works on an oil rig. You find him, and he can help you do it. I'm on it. 
Don't worry about Iggy. He and I have been in more jails than skate comps. He'll find a way out. He always does. Trust me. All right. But I'm just going to say, why does Tony Alva look a little bit like Joe Dirt? I'm hey, just man. saying. If you want to get to that oil rig and find Mega, we got to figure out a way to get you out to a boat. And you see, boats can't come near the pier because of all the people swimming around here. I'm going to need something big to get way out there. Something big? Like that broken down old Ferris wheel? That's perfect. That thing's ready to fall off anyways. Yeah, but we can't do anything with that old Carney hanging around. We gotta lose that guy. Any thoughts? Not sure. That dude's kind of loony though. I always hear him mumbling something about the Ferris wheel really being an alien ship. And how little green space people are gonna come take their ship and him back to planet Zoltar. Once again, just you know, like Alex Jones would protect. A clothing shop in Hollywood. I'm gonna head over there to get it and I'll meet you by the Ferris wheel. Okay, um, so wait, I remember, we had to go back to Hollywood and uh, get an alien costume, so give me a minute, I'm just gonna go get some more money for the costume and we'll be right back to get rid of this crazy carnival guy and his dang Ferris wheel. I mean, well, the Ferris wheel is going, but he's not going, but uh, you kind of get what I mean, right? No? Okay, whatever.